morning, everybody. I'm Johnny Cash. Actually, my name is Robert Randall. I'm with Universal Avionics, and I am uh, proud to be here to introduce our new product. It is SCN31 for the Unilink 800 and 801 Communications Management Unit. Today's Unilink currently is FANS 1A compliant for Oceanic CPDLC and ADSB. It also contains v VDL Mode 2 capability. Now, with the development of SCN 31, the Unilink 800 and 801 meets the Eurocontrol's Link 2000 Plus program requirements. And I guess we're buffering. And it also meets Link 2000 Plus mandate currently scheduled for February 5th, 2015 and is also designed to comply with the FAA Datacom, which is CPDLC in the US. This chart here is showing you that the dark green indicates full implementation, light green is partial, and tan indi indicates planned, Link 2000 Plus is coming. Some of the features for SCN31 is ATN Baseline 1 controller, Pilot data link communications and context management functions per the data link services implementing rule and associated guidance. It also features VDL mode 2, multi frequency capability compliant with TSO C160A. It's also FANS ATN CPDLC message harmonization addressing industry requirements for operational consistency and human factors for all FANS and ATN CPDLC messages for operators flying both in continental Europe and oceanic airspace. It also additionally, it, SCN31 features improved required communication performance and required surveillance performance for both VDH, VHF data link and SATCOM operation. It will also incorporate VHF digital radio SCN 10.2 to support larger message sizes as required for ATN messaging. An additional Additionally, Unilink 801 data link communications application software and VDR software changes that incorporate revisions to address non-flight deck visible product improvements. It is also designed to support FANS operations in the domestic U.S. airspace in regards to FAA Datacom program. And if we could uh, start the video real quick, I want to show you real, how CP8 DLC looks in the operational atmosphere. We're going to select Unilink. I'm going to select ATC. We're going to request an altitude change to uh, flight level 250. Under the altitude block, you'll enter 250. Hit enter. You're going to review your request. We're requesting to climb to flight level 250. We send the message. We get a message back from the message indicator. We want to see what the message is. It's a Unilink ATC alert. It says request climb to flight level 250. And we get the tower message from the tower says climb to and maintain 250. We acknowledge with the Wilco. Hit send. Message sent. And that is texting and flying, basically. <laughs> There's uh, three versions of the Unilink available. It's going to be our standard Unilink 800, which is available today, our Unilink 801, which includes internal radio, and then our Unilink 800 and 801 with Link 2000 Plus. You're going to ask me, Robert, how do I get SCN31? Well, I'm going to tell you. SCN31 will be offered as an upgrade to your existing 801 and 800 
uh, communications unit. It, uh, future purchases and installations will include Link 2000 if you request the SCN31 to be uh, included. And you can contact your Universal Avionics Authorized Dealer or your Universal Avionics Sales Rep for availability and pricing. For more information and another demo, stop by and see us at booth 809. Thank you very much. Aero TV's coverage of the 57th Annual AEA International Convention and Trade Show, live from Nashville, Tennessee, is brought to you in part by the following sponsors. AML's patent-pending wireless induction charging system eliminates confusion over those charging cables, cuts down cockpit cable clutter, and allows you and your passengers to fly cordless and eliminate the cable nightmare. www.aviationmodificationleaders.com Small, light, and ADS-B compatible. The Sandia Aerospace STX-165 Mode AC Transponder provides an uncommon value for today's aircraft. Check it out now at www.sandia.aero. Finally, the extraordinary story of the world-changing XPRIZE space competition is being told and illustrated with hundreds of insider photos in Jim Campbell's colorful new book, Beyond the Blue. Journey with Jim as he flies formation with spaceships, plays in zero gravity, prepares rocket racers, and documents the amazing first decade of the personal space race. Available this summer, get your advance order in now by checking out www.kindredspirit.com.